Welcome back. Okay, so let's write our codes in a better way, descriptive programming in QTP for the Facebook application. So another way of writing descriptive programming is to say that, well, okay, let's save this test, the previous one. Let's save it as descriptive programming one, zero, one, save it. Okay, now let me get rid of all this. So I keep this first line, which is open a browser and navigate to facebook.com. And on this line, what I do, I'll keep this as any open browser and any open page and on the web edit instead of having set description dot create dot 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 I can create the description of this web edit right in this bracket right in this quotation okay so what I can do with objects by let's refresh our properties and values so the class name is webedit, the HTML ID is email, right? We can write it here. So some people write set description dot create and give it a name and put that name in this box. So instead of doing that, the fastest way of doing it is you can write webedit. You start a quotation and you write class name colon equal. Colon equal means the value of class name is equal to and in this case the value of class name is web edit close the quotation let's put our second value put our comma and start another quotation and say HTML ID colon equal that means the value of HTML ID is, in this case, it's email. Close a quotation, close a bracket, dot set. And let's set as, as email ID at yahoo.com. Some invalid email ID. Let me close the browser. And let's run this test. So it opens and navigates to facebook.com. And it did write email ID at yahoo.com. OK. Let's try to make a change in here. So this time it ran successfully. So the HTML ID, if I just put another L, which is email, which is wrong. Let's close the browser and run the test. So it navigates to facebook.com. And right now it is supposed to write this email ID, right? Right here. But it is taking a longer time, and let's see why it is taking a longer time. Let's wait till QTP throws us an error. There we go. So we can see the run error. It says it cannot identify the object. Okay, so verify these object properties. Match an object currently displayed in your application. Click on stop. That means it did not find the object HTML ID email. So for a little tiny mistake, we had two L's for HTML ID, which is incorrect. Right? So this is why it did not find that. It was able, unable to find this web edit, and it was unable to write something. This is why it is necessary to, that you enter. It's not case sensitive, but you have to write, you have to enter the exact value of the property. 
you have to write the correct property and the property value of the properties. So let me delete that. Delete that so that I have the right email, the right value. This time, let me add another code for browser dot close all tabs dot close all tabs so this will basically close my browser after entering the text let me put a wait statement so wait two seconds so before it closes the browser it will wait for two seconds let me close the browser manually for now let's run this and see what happens so it navigates to Facebook enters email ID successfully and we have an error in here so we have to we have made a mistake in this code so let's try to find out what that mistake is so this time even though we have only one tab open we can change this to just browser dot close in order to close the browser and okay and let's try that again so even the browser dot close or browser dot close all tabs won't work we have made a mistake we did not tell QTP we didn't tell QTP to close which browser so QTP does not know which browser to close QTP does not understand browser.close or browser.close all tabs so the meaning of that we have to tell QTP which browser to close okay so let's use this one title colon equal dot star that means any a browser with any title dot star is a regular expression that you can use basically that means that any titled browser any browser with any title so I copy that I put it in here so I say browser title colon equal dot star any browser dot close all tabs or I can just say close it doesn't really matter so let me save this again as um, QTP descriptive programming descriptive programming O2 let's run this and see what happens let's see if it works navigation Facebook enters email waits for two seconds and it did close the browser okay let's wait for the test to complete okay there we go so this is a code for opening and navigating a browser to a URL. Then you can write something for a web edit box or to an object within the application. And you can close the browser with your codes right here instead of recording anything. In the next video, let's continue enhancing and creating the script to create the invalid login for facebook.com. Thank you.